Oysters are a keystone species. I think we've all heard an adult oyster filters up to 50 gallons of water a day, turning what we have too much of algae into tasty oyster meat. 100, 120 years ago, the population of bay oysters could filter the entire volume of the Chesapeake every three or four days. A tremendous natural filter. When you think oysters, think coral reefs. Oysters were literally the infrastructure of the Chesapeake Bay, critical to its legendary productivity, but which H.L. Mencken called an immense protein factory. And oysters were critical to the region's culture and the economy. They were far more, than an, far more of an icon than the blue crab, which we assume today is the bay's icon. And the loss is staggering economically. The economic loss to the bay over the last 40 years is $4 billion and 45,000 jobs. But while much has been lost, all is not lost. There are signs of a nascent recovery. We issue this report to document the loss, present hope for a brighter future, and offer suggestions as to how to get there. Empty them right there, Rebecca. look like five years ago when we planted them out here onto this sanctuary reef. Uh, you can see now they've grown into these really big, healthy clumps of oysters. Uh, a few dead oysters, but virtually all of them are alive. They are uh, probably an average of four inches or, or, uh, or even more. Uh, and you can also see that other life has started to colonize on these reefs, which I think is a really important demonstration of how not only do these uh, oysters filter the water in the Chesapeake Bay, but they also provide a uh, phenomenal habitat for a lot of other species of fish and crabs. And if you look carefully on the deck here, you can see all kinds of worms and mud crabs uh, and some little shrimp kicking around and that kind of thing. They really do provide spectacular habitat. At the end of the day, this event is about advocating for sanctuaries. Why are sanctuaries a key part of, of the model that's in your opinion? Sanctuaries are fundamentally important in order that we can make sure that enough of the adult oysters that survive the disease and therefore carry some resistance survive to reproduce, number one. Number two, they're important in order for us to build dense uh, populations of oysters necessary for them to be able to spawn and reproduce and repopulate. And then thirdly, uh, they're important with respect to managing uh, these regions so that we can have sanctuaries that protect it from the environments.